Welcome back to the tutorial. Today we are going to learn four bar chain mechanism that is sliding door mechanism. We see this mechanism generally at the entrance gate of the shopping mall. So with the help of linkage software, we are trying to understand how to draw the sliding door mechanism. So in the first step, we will right click our mouse and select an anchor point. With the help of these two anchor point, we will try to define the path along which our door will slide. So press control button, select both the anchor point A and B and from the menu connect link once you have connected the link the anchor point a and b is connected together they are joined and this will be the path on which we want our door to slide now this length of a and b can be altered by clicking on any of the node and changing its length so you can just hold it and pull it or shrink it to change the size of the sliding distance in the next step we will again right click and choose the option input with link so this is how you will get an input link we will deselect it and we will bring this input anchor to a position where we want to initiate the mechanism from or this is the point where you install your motor for the operation of the mechanism then again you will right click and you will select an option that is a link with two connector so we will choose a link with two connector and then we will again deselect it so now we have link E and F with us so we will try to bring E F link close to this input link so we will hold it and drag it and now we will try to join E and D together so first you have to deselect it then you will have to select D and E into a same box by right clicking your mouse you select it and then from the menu we select the option join so link D and E is joined together now you can hold this node and place it wherever you want so in the next step we will try to put this F node on this sliding length that is on the link A and B so first of all we will try to hold E node and bring it down and we'll hold F node and take it on the sliding door now in the third step we will try we will right click and select again link with two connector okay so now we have D and G we will bring D and mix it with F and we will try to bring this G node down again we will right click we will select one more link with two connectors now we will try to bring this D to this G and node H will try to fix on B so for fixing it again we will have to follow the same step we will right click select both the nodes and we will click join again here also we will select both the nodes and click join so now and here again we will connect so now we have the mechanism almost ready only we have to do is we have to make this F node as the slider node on A and B so how we will do it so 
we want this F node to slide over A and B. So what we'll do, we'll select node F, we'll press Ctrl and select node A and H that is link 3 and then we'll select the option from the menu slide. So now F has become a slider over the link A and H. We will deselect it. So for safety, what we will do is, we will increase the length of this A and H for now. Okay, you hold the node, increase the length. Okay, and now we will try to run the mechanism. So see, this is the slider door mechanism. We can see that F is sliding on the link A and H. So this is how you see that automatically your sliding door works. Okay, so once our mechanism is drawn, the linkage software provides us the flexibility for some additional features. Like we have to trace the path of this node. So if we have to trace the path of, path of this node, let's suppose E, we will select on node E, we will right click and we will click on the option draw motion path and we will click OK. Now when you run your mechanism, you see that the path traced by node E is clearly seen. Similarly, if we want to trace the path of node D, we will select node D and again we will right click, choose draw motion path, click OK and run the mechanism. One more, if we have to trace the path of say node F, similarly right click, choose draw motion path, click OK and run the mechanism. So here again you can see that the path traced by each of the node can clearly be seen. Another important feature is change in the dimension. So if you want to change the dimension, either angle of the link or the length of the link, that option is also available. You right click on the link which you want to change the length and then here you have option. You can click and write type the value whatever you want to input and simultaneously you will see that the change in the length of the mechanism is clearly seen. Let's suppose if we want to make it 75, we'll click 75. So the length becomes 75. We'll undo this so that the mechanism is working properly. Another feature available with linkage is you can convert each of these link into a solid form. So let's suppose we want to convert this link 2 into a solid form. We'll click on link 2, then right click, choose the option solid, click OK. You see that link 2 has converted into a solid link. Similarly, for link 4, right click, choose option solid, OK. Link 5, right click, choose option solid, OK. Link 1, right click, choose option solid, OK. Now you run the mechanism, you see that each of the link is running into a solid link form. Another feature is if we have to add some name to this link, let's suppose we have to add uh, some name to link 2, we'll click on link 2, we'll select properties and here you have the option to write the name. So I write this name as link B. I'll click OK and I see here link B is written. Similarly, you can change for link 4 or link 5 so that you can do independently. Linkage also provides it with certain flexibility which I will discuss. Let's suppose you have to draw the anchor A and H but you are not able to get the exact position. So for that you have here 
in the detail menu you have show grid option so with the help of this grid you will be able to position your anchor or your link at your desired location so i think that's all for today and thank you for watching the video stay tuned for some more mechanisms on the linkage thank you